Hey, you scouts! It's time to dig up that next badge with the Archaeologist Badge Guide. Hey friends, I figured I'd get to the rest of these scout guides while I was waiting for Wastelanders, so let's start this off with the Archaeologist Badge. First up, we're gonna go over the checklist. Seems very Indiana Jones themed. Don't know why Fox Jerky is in there. Is this a reference I'm not getting? Other than Harrison Ford being a total silver fox and all. Okay, whatever. And taking pictures of fossils. So, uh, but that's, that's not exactly right. Let's do some Google stuffs real quick. Okay, it's as I thought. Archaeology. Which is the study of human history through excavation of sites for artifacts and physical remains, versus paleontology, which is science concerning animal and plant fossils. The fossils that I show you in this video are not human, and the game files are even marked as whale bones. So, uh, yeah, get your facts straight. Let's go ahead and take that scout exam. Terminals can be found at the different Pioneer Scout camps, and I've linked answers to the exams down below. We also need to pick up a few things, a magnifying glass, treasure map, and a fedora that we need to wear while picking up bones, and also take camera pictures of fossils, visit a few places, and cook some fox jerky. Before we do all that, let's talk about fedoras. There are a few hats in game that will work, and some that seem like they should, but just don't. The fedoras that work while picking up bones are the white wolf fedora, which is a reward for the encrypted event, battered fedora, and the atomic shop silver shroud fedora. The dirty fedora and the crumpled fedora do not work, at least they didn't for me. Apart from that, the list seems simple enough. I like to get as much done in one area as possible, so let's knock out three on the list right off the bat. I'm over here at the White Springs Resort, where you can find a usable fedora and bones, magnifying glass, and a fossil nearby. The magnifying glass is right inside Blue Ridge Gallery at the White Springs Shop Row. And if you go down a little bit further near the White Spring Presidential Cottage, on the table outside is a battered fedora. Now that we got our hat, just pop out on and head on over to the White Spring service entrance. There are dumpsters here that are filled with more than enough bones. You can also find some bones at a lot of different places too, like the Braxton Medical Supply Building and some of the places we need to visit on the list as well. But the dumpsters were really easy to get to, so this works just fine for me. And nearby at the Summersville Lake, not too far from the White Springs, we can find a fossil to take a picture of. There are actually quite a few spots to find fossils. I checked out each location that could potentially work, and there are 11 spots that you can take a picture at. I went ahead and whipped up a little fossil map for you too. But instead of going all over, we're just gonna take a quick snap of this one right here to mark that off our list, even if it isn't what archeologists do. All right, let's go ahead and visit a few places. I've already done this just by playing the game, but you need to hit up a few spots like Wendigo Cave, Uncanny Caverns, and Philippi Battlefield Cemetery. Easy check off. And the fun part, to me anyway, is acquiring a treasure map and finding treasure five times. So we'll actually need five treasure maps. I've gone over treasure maps in depth before on my treasure hunter video, but as for finding maps, it's really easy treasure maps drop from a few different containers, specifically what I like to call boss chests, like steamer trunks, trunks, this container from BattleBot, safes, especially level 3s, which I've gone over in my safecracker video, and from crowned enemies. Or really, you could just go shopping. People sell these all the time, so keep an eye out in the shops. They are under the miscellaneous category. Once you get one, that should mark that off. Now we need to dig up some treasure. Again, I'll reference my treasure video. You can also check out this guide by Dolphy that helps me finding these spots. And X never ever marks the spot. I have five of one type, so I can just get this all done at one spot. Super easy. And what does that leave us with? Right, fox jerky. Knowing how to make fox jerky is learned once you pick up some fox meat, no recipe required. Just get some meat and head to a place to cook it up at. 
Big Fred's Barbecue Shack has foxes that spawn here, and if you equip your Butcher's Bounty card, you can usually get all five pieces of meat you need without server hopping. Sorry little foxes, I need to cook you up because that's just what we archaeologists do. Feel like a monster. Ooh, a badge! Okay, I'm all good now. Done playing Indiana if there's no bullwhip involved. I do hope this guide helped make it easier for you to knock out this badge. I'm working on a lot of projects right now, but still have these guides coming out. Be sure to like, subscribe, click the bell, and all the things I'm supposed to tell you that you already know to do that helps my channel grow. <laughs> okay, I'm Wickedy, thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!